Bees, the story of the evolution of haplodiploidy and eusociality. Honeybees play a critical ecological role within society. Honeybees pollinate various flower plants and food crops. By pollination, they also help maintain ecological habitats by maintaining species abundance. But, perhaps most synonymous with bees is their ability to produce honey. Aside from their important ecological roles, bees give us an understanding of a unique sociobiological phenomenon. Bees have evolved a cooperative social system that helps organize the colonies under the selective pressures of limited resources and predation. This social system is known as eusociality, and its genetic basis is known as haplodiploidy. We begin the story of the evolutionary history of haplodiploidy and eusociality by first answering the question, what is eusociality? Eusociality represents an advanced form of communal existence characterized by four conditions. One, individuals of several generations coexist with each other. Two, all individuals live within the same community. Three, not everyone is able to reproduce in this community. And four, many individuals are required to care for the offspring of other reproducing individuals and are assigned jobs based on their fertility. In eusocial beehives, bees are placed into hereditary classes called castes based on their sex. The worker bee caste is made up of sterile females. This dominant class is responsible for maintaining the beehive and caring for the young of the colony. The caste to rule them all is the queen caste. The bulbous queen is the sole reproductive female within the population. The short-lived drone caste is made up solely of males who are tasked with monogamously mating with a queen. All three castes work together as a youth social communal system to give the population a greater chance at survival and higher fitness. Of evolutionary importance, however, is the greater fitness conferred to individuals in this youth social communal system. When ecological pressures are present, eusociality can increase fitness for honeybees because more of their genetic information is able to be passed on. But exactly how did eusociality evolve? Well, the leading hypothesis was described by William D. Hamilton through his theory that the genetic phenomenon of haplodiploidy and evolutionary strategy of kin selection drove honeybees to a eusocial system. First, we look to what haplodiploidy's role in eusocial evolution is. Haplodiploidy is a sex-determining system whereby males develop from unfertilized eggs and females develop from fertilized eggs. As a result, males are haploid and females are diploid. This differentiation in ploidy allows for the caste system in eusociality to exist. In honeybee colonies, haploid males will become the drones, while diploid females become the worker bees, and one specific female is designated queen. Genetically, this haplodiploid system results in a higher relatedness among sister siblings in a honeybee population. This is important for the evolution of eusociality since worker bees are sterile, hence technically lowering their fitness. In a diploid sex determining system, two haploid gametes from each parent come together to make a zygote. Offspring will get half of their genes from the mother, with the mother giving a gamete with half of her alleles. The other half of the individual's genome comes from the father, who will also give half of his alleles in a gamete. Mathematically, this would give us a 50% relatedness between siblings. However, in a haplodiploid system, the queen is the only reproductive individual, monogamously using sperm reserves from a single drone bee to make offspring from either fertilized or unfertilized eggs. The diploid queen will give a gamete with half of her alleles to the developing zygote, while the haploid drone will contribute the other gamete consisting of 100% of its genetic makeup. This results in a closer 75% genetic relatedness between siblings. The closer relatedness between siblings now allows kin selection to get factored into the evolution of eusociality. 
Kin selection is an evolutionary strategy where an organism helps relatives reproduce at the expense of its own reproductive ability. This usually involves the altruistic behavior of caring for the young of a relative. This behavior is thought to increase the fitness of non-reproductive individuals, since the offspring could propagate their genes at a greater rate than their own offspring would, due to a closer relatedness between siblings. Therefore, kin selection is important in colonies with insufficient resources that limit all females to be reproductive. We now see haplodiploidy and kin selection come together to give eusociality. The haplodiploidy system acts such that diploid worker bees produced by the queen will be 75% genetically related to one another. If the sterile worker bees were to reproduce, their offspring would only be 50% related to them since they would only share half of their genetic information via the contributed gametes. Thus, raising their closer related sisters produced by the queen would allow for greater propagation of the worker bee's genes, since sisters share more genetic information than parents and offspring would. In honeybee colonies where limited resources are a selective pressure, the ability of worker bees to forego reproduction and allow the queen to be the sole reproductive individual enables the worker bees and greater colony to conserve resources that would be needed for their own reproduction, and instead invest their energy to provide beehive maintenance and caregiving services. Kin selection operating on a haplodiploid system also allows for a greater propagation of worker bee genes, given the close relatedness between worker bees and their juvenile sisters. The short-lived haploid drones who may have deleterious alleles also provide the benefit of removing any unfavorable alleles that could be propagated through sexual means. Thus, the evolution of eusociality based on kin selection and haplodiploidy has allowed honeybees to increase the fitness of all individuals in the beehive in response to selective pressures, as it allows genes to be passed at a greater frequency in subsequent generations. Typically, plastic genes allowing for haplodiploidy and eusociality would also increase in subsequent generations, enabling the conservation of the eusocial system. Now to summarize, eusociality is a complex communal system where individuals are divided into working castes based on their sex and ability to reproduce. Haplodiploidy is a sex determining system where females are diploid and males are haploid, leading to a closer relatedness between sisters. In the face of ecological pressures such as predation, limited food availability, and parasitic infection, the haplodiploidy stem in conjunction with kin selection allow for a maximization of resources that allows the dominant class worker bee to maintain its genes in subsequent generations without reproducing herself. This efficient use of resources enables worker bees to maintain the colony and increase the fitness. The end result is efficient beehive colonies where resources and gene propagation are maximized, allowing our buzzing friends to fulfill their ecological importances. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the evolution of haplodiploidy and eusociality.